today we are going to discuss the various features of a partnership firm. Here they are two or more persons, partnership agreement, legal business, sharing profits and losses, unlimited liability and mutual agency. Let's talk about them one by one. The first feature we have is two or more persons. Now we have already discussed that there must be at least two members to form a partnership firm. So that's the first feature. But what about the maximum number of members that a partnership firm can have? Well, in this regards, Rule 10 of the company's Miscellaneous Rules Act 2014 restricts the maximum number of members to 50. So in nutshell, the minimum number of members is 2 and the maximum number of members is 50. Coming to our next feature, what we have is partnership agreement. The birth of a partnership firm is the result of an oral or written agreement among the partners and that agreement is what we call as partnership deed. The deed forms the basis for defining the relationship among the members. Now the next feature we have is legal business. The association among the members must be to do a lawful business. If the subject matter of the business becomes illegal, say smuggling or robbing, in that case the partnership shall also become illegal. Coming to our next feature we have is sharing profits and losses. Now this one is quite obvious. If two people have joined hands to run a business together, then definitely they are going to distribute the profits earned or the losses incurred among themselves. The profit or losses are distributed in the ratio as agreed among the partners. Coming to our next feature, what we have is unlimited liability. Now this one is similar to that of a sole proprietorship. Like a proprietor, a partner's personal assets may be utilized to pay off the firm's debt but only when the firm's assets fall short of its obligations. And finally, the last feature of a partnership firm is mutual agency. There exists a principal agent relationship among the partners. As an agent, he or she enters into contract with third parties on behalf of other partners who then become his principal and as a principal, he or she is bound by the acts of other partners who have acted as their agents.